Yeah, the man who police say is responsible, he's expected to appear before a judge sometime today. And if it wasn't for that neighbor jumping in, the end of this story could have been much, much worse. Take a look. Police say this is the man who stalked and ambushed an 11 year old girl. Raylan Estrada now under arrest, charged with kidnapping, harassment, and unlawful imprisonment. But he may have never been caught if it wasn't for Alex Salas. He was going to hit her with the bat. He had the bat over her and he had her down. It was just nerve wracking. Solace heard the girl screaming for help and jumped into action. Surveillance video shows him running out of his home with a baseball bat onto Center Street near Seneca Avenue. This guy, he literally had a sideways and she's fighting with him and then he, she um, trying to put her in the car head first. When I saw her, she was kicking to get out of the car. Then that's when I yelled and I, I told her, do you know him? She says, no, please help me. Police say the young girl was walking to a weekend program at IS-77. They say Estrada followed and called out to her, but she ignored him. She started walking faster. That's when he became more persistent. She got tired and made it to this door, but the door wasn't open. So that's when he trapped him between the gates and he grabbed her. So the girl kept fighting. She fought, she kicked, she screamed, she did everything, and she used her phone. It was those screams that sent Salas straight out of his home. No way in the world I was going to let him leave. God knows what he would have done. I mean, think about it. What if I didn't help her? What if I didn't do that? What he was going to do to her? Solace waited with Estrada and the little girl until police showed up. I didn't say anything to him. I just let him talk, let him talk. As long as he kept his mind off of her, then I knew she was okay. Police say Estrada has a dozen prior arrests and is a registered sex offender. He went to prison back in 2001 for sexually assaulting a woman. You repeat that to your kids a hundred times. You tell your kids a hundred times to be alert, to be careful, and then to see it, to physically see it, it's heartbreaking. And police say that young girl was not hurt and is now home safe and sound. We're live in Kew Gardens, Queens.